Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. It has been quite some time since I posted a video for you guys for filters versus ammonia. And there's actually a very good reason for that. I did not want to present any kind of results to you that I could not um, repeat and have some consistency for. So I've tested and retested quite a bit. As a matter of fact, since all this began, I've done over 175 ammonia tests. And to tell you the truth, I'm getting a little tired of it all. But uh, I got some interesting results, and I think uh, it might make sense by the end of this video. So for each of the filters that I tested, uh, they went through the following procedures. First off, this is the aquarium where I raised all those angel fry, and this is actually the filter that was in that tank. So what I did is I emptied the tank out, gave it a quick wipe down, not as clean and scrubbed out as before, because I find it's not really necessary. I filled it full of fresh water. I let water, that water bubble with a, an aerator for a little bit. Then I put the filter in it and tested for zero. Then added the two milliliters of ammonium chloride and then tested daily after that until the ammonia disappeared. Now it did not disappear for all the filters. So what happens for those that uh, didn't actually manage to process it, uh, after a week, I took that filter out, uh, cleaned it a little bit, and then put it in an aquarium with fish and uh, let it recharge, and then moved on to the next filter. Now, for those filters that actually managed to remove the ammonium chloride, uh, I would redose and see if the interval between uh, the removal got shorter to see if actually the filter itself was being uh, able to handle the greater amounts of ammonium chloride and, and then of course show uh, that it was um, adaptive. So let's start off with this filter. As I said, this is the filter that was on this aquarium the entire time I was raising and breeding uh, those angelfish. And uh, by the end you saw how large the fish were and how healthy and happy they were and I never had any issues with this filter whatsoever. The angel spread in this tank a number of times and then as the fry got bigger and bigger, uh, they were being fed a lot more food, uh, flake food, uh, all sorts of live food as well. And again, the tank stayed perfectly healthy. I never saw any issues uh, with any kind of, you know, bacterial or fungal or behavioral issues with any of the fish. So this is a very good filter. It does exactly what I want a filter to do. In the ammonia tests, after a week, it had not removed the ammonia. There might have been a slight reduction in the amount of ammonia, but it was not really noticeable. So I took this filter out, put it in another aquarium, and then later on, after it had a chance to recharge, I did it again, and it did not remove the ammonia the second time either. So it was, like I said, a good filter, but it is not doing what I wanted to do for this particular experiment. So then I moved on to this filter. This is the Dollar Store box filter. Uh, the difference for this one and the other filters in the experiment is it charged in this tank and I did not repeat the experiment for it because at this point I wanted to move on to other filters and see how they responded. And as you can tell by the way I'm talking about this filter, I mean it was in here for six weeks plus and you can see it has accumulated a bit of dirt and there's a bit of food in there. It is circulating water uh, but when it went into the ammonia experiments I'm pretty certain, uh, my color vision isn't the best, but I'm pretty certain that there was no reduction in the amount of ammonia for this filter the entire time that I tested it. I tested it for the full week, and then I pulled it from the experiment, and I'm not going to retest this filter. It, uh, it may be as good a filter as the standard box filter. Uh, it unfortunately is in an aquarium here where it's not really being tested to its full uh, capabilities but I was not really uh, hoping to, that it would uh, I guess that's kind of unfair for me but it, uh, it's fine uh, it will probably be able to sit in an aquarium like this with not too much in the way of stress on it and perform reasonably but I'm looking for filters that can uh, take a little bit more of abuse. That's what I think I'm probably trying to get at here. And it just really wasn't worth uh, retesting this particular filter. 
And the same thing can be said for the standard box filter that you saw at the beginning of this video. I mean, they're wonderful filters. I have them in a number of my aquariums in the fish room, and they have uh, the niche that they fulfill. They're great for a little bit of mechanical filtration, and they augment whatever filters in the aquarium for doing uh, like extra biological filtration. But they're kind of at, uh, I think, the limit for that particular design. Uh, like I said, they're good. I know what I can use them for, and I can put them in aquariums. But I'm looking for a filter that will uh, do a little bit more than that. So uh, I think I'm going to keep working on that. And I think I've made Aaron wait long enough in this video to see the results for his filter, which is the 3D printed box filter. Now it sat initially and was charged in the Pallidarium. And before I get to the results of this filter, I want to talk a little bit about uh, some kind of anecdotal results I saw for it. While I was in the Pallidarium, I did notice an improvement in uh, the clarity of the water and not so much the fish's behavior or anything, but when I took it out and put it in the ammonia experiments, I did notice a change again in the quality of the water, uh, just like just like I said, visually. Uh, it does actually do uh, what it's supposed to. It is a good filter and Aaron actually this filter is going to go through some more tests not so much ammonia tests but I want to put it in other aquariums uh, that are going to really put it through some extra tests rigor and we're going to see how that goes. As far as the ammonia tests go it did reduce the amount of ammonia and by the end of the week it was still traces there it did not remove it at all, like all of it completely. And I did put it in this aquarium and then retest it again. And that result is consistent. It doesn't seem to have enough of a filtration capacity to um, get rid of it all in the time frame I, I want it to. It has to be. You, the other filters I've done before, the underground filters, uh, the bog filters, all that sort of stuff, you've got a, sort of like a three to three and a half day standard I'm working on here. And it is not quite up to that, but I think it actually has potential error for other things. And like I said, I'm going to do some other stuff with it. And believe it, it will come up again in another video uh, before too long. So let's move on to the last filter in this series uh, for box filters. And probably the last ammonia test I've ever done, or going to ever do. And it's actually two filters. Uh, this is the first one I've built. And then I made another one and they are all being uh, tested in the uh, angelfish breeding tank that I have, and that's where they're being charged. Uh, the other one just has lava rock, and this one had gravel and lava rock. <laughs> Flavor it or not, between the two of them, I'm only going to present results for this one. This one here is better than the other one. They're the exact same size. They're the exact same fill of media. The only difference is a little bit of natural gravel in this one and that should not make any real difference. But this filter here outperforms all the other filters of this experiment. It is at the three and a half to three day standard for uh, removing ammonia, which is great for the filter, but I don't understand why this one was any better than the other one. It should not be uh, significantly better. But the other filter, uh, it took uh, longer. It was. It took about a week before it removed it. I didn't have enough time to retest both of these multiple times, but I retested this one twice, and it was consistent. But then again, even though, like I said, this is a really good box filter, and I really do like the design, and it works, works really well, uh, I think I need to do a little bit more work on this, because these filters here are not as good as the filters that supply the planter filter. So whenever I have the combination of either this filter or box filter or whatever, or an undergravel filter feeding up into a planter filter or uh, like the uh, Java Moss bog filter, they are much better at removing ammonia. Obviously the plants are feeding on it, but uh, that is not an excuse to give this one uh, like saying that it's not doing what it should do. It should be able to uh, be improved, and I'm going to work on that. I have some ideas for making these a little bit better, and like I said the planter filters here are so much better at doing this and f provide such a nice, stable environment. I actually really do like the look of them as well, but I'm going to keep working on it. Uh, so as far as this experiment goes, uh, my conclusions are 
don't use ammonium chloride to cycle your aquariums. There are much better ways of doing that. I think it's quite toxic and it's very difficult for a filter to remove it. And if uh, it actually gets to the point where it even does remove it quite well, uh, you are testing an unnatural setup, an, an unnatural amount of it. And it's much better to use plants and snails and invertebrates and a few fish and a little bit of gravel from a friend's aquarium or one of your other aquariums uh, to do that sort of thing. I'm going to probably put up a video if anyone's interested uh, in how to uh, more naturally cycle an aquarium. Uh, let me know if you're interested in that below and I'll work on that. Uh, it's really quite straightforward but cycling is not what a lot of people think it is uh, and certainly not uh, what is presented often in things. Uh, so if you are interested, just let me know. But I like the look of this, and I will try and improve upon this more than the other ones. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of all this. And there you go, Aaron. You waited long enough. It is better than a standard box filter, but I'm going to work on that a little bit more. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.